Minnesota Department of Human Services, Disability Services Division. Hello, my name is Natasha Mers. I'm the Director of the Disability Services Division at the Department of Human Services. Important Conversations. Here at DHS and in various places across the state, there are important conversations happening about how we as a state can support Minnesotans with disabilities to live meaningful lives in our communities. Our goal is to support people to choose where and how they live, learn, work, and play. These conversations are resulting in many innovative ideas for how to move toward this shared goal. These ideas include updating existing services, increasing choice for people and how they use available services, and much more. The goals of community inclusion, person-centered services, and informed choice are driving change across Minnesota. Each of these goals are built on the idea that people receiving supports have the knowledge, skills, and experience to choose among possibilities and to make those choices known and understood. In other words, to be self-advocates. The purpose of this video is to share an approach for providing more and better self-advocacy and community inclusion supports to Minnesotans with disabilities. These services help bridge the gap between the rights people with disabilities have and what they know about and are supported to exercise. Changing service system. The service system has an increasing emphasis on individual and informed choice, community inclusion, self-determination, and empowerment. With these changes, there is an increasing need for hands-on learning for people to explore those concepts and apply them to their lives. Self-advocacy and community inclusion. We know that community inclusion can be most successful if it is guided through self-advocacy and exercised by people with disabilities who define their own vision for what they would like their life to look like. That self-advocacy must be the foundation, whether it takes place within their own family, at their place of work, where they live, their school, or in their local communities. To put it another way, People with disabilities must share the leadership of this work for their own inclusion and partner with people in the community of their own choosing. A new approach to expand self-advocacy. DHS recognized the self-advocacy movement in Minnesota was underdeveloped in relation to the need and it was financially unstable with a high dependence on grants, gifts, annual legislative appropriations, and volunteer efforts. The new approach to build capacity for self-advocacy includes accessing Medicaid waiver funds. There are waivered service providers delivering self-advocacy training and support. Go to the website minnesotahelp.info and search self-advocacy to find providers offering self-advocacy training and support. How it works. Self-advocacy training and support is an approved waiver service within the Family Training and Counseling Service. These services can be included in a person's community support plan. Self-advocacy services do not replace other services. Self-advocacy can be an additional standalone service, or it can be delivered in partnership with other services being received by the person. Examples of other services include employment services, day support services, and residential supports. The opportunity. This is a chance for DHS, case managers, families, and service providers to partner with self-advocacy providers and organizations to follow through on the promise of full community inclusion by investing in training and support and to put action behind that promise. Take advantage of this opportunity to access self-advocacy training and support. Be a part of a movement to build a Minnesota where everyone knows their rights, understands their choices, and has support to make them.